Welcome to ITS Copenhagen. In this demonstration, on the left side, we see the reference system, and on the right side of the screen, we show our F9P multi-band, multi-constellation technology. In this segment, it shows some of the challenges of GNSS navigation with multipath. You will see us driving between two buildings. On the left side, we have the reference system, and on the right side, we have the F9 technology. So we, we show lane accurate positioning. Uh, from the satellite view, you can see the roads are clearly marked and we are in a particular lane. And you can see with the, the street view where we are relative in the lane. We're going to go to a, a traffic circle. We are going to drive two loops around that circle. And by looking at the logs, you can see how precisely we're repeating the same circuit. We are closely tracking the, uh, the two circles. And the next part here, we go to a normal city street with buildings lined on both sides. We have some obstruction and this is where we show the multi-band technology and how it reconverges when we have ambiguity fixes, so to, to get a higher precision in our measurements. So here we pass under the, the subway line and with normal GNSS you would lose the ambiguity fix and critical for automated driving you want to regain your high precision measurements. With our multiband technology we are able to regain the accurate fix of position. And then now we're going to go to the shopping center where there is a underground parking. You, you can see on the screen that we're, we're going underground with the road and you can still see us turn a 90 degree corner even though clearly we are underground. So all this is done with inertial measurement unit sensors, which is quite impressive that you can see a 90 degree turn with no GNSS. Now we come back into the open sky scenario and the dead reckoning technology disables itself and then you can see on the track view that we had pink stars before which means we're running purely on dead reckoning and once we come back to open sky we gain acquisition of the high precision it changes back to orange and yellow stars this is the, the setup for the car, the Novatel reference system on the left. On the right side is the F9 demonstrator that includes demonstration software and it has the inertial measurement sensors inside. So here on the wheel, you can see there's a wheel tick ge generator. And then on top, there are two antennas. The left one is the survey grade antenna that's used for the reference system. On the demonstrator, we are using the newly announced NMB multiband antenna for, for, our, for our demonstration. Now, what you don't see here is the correction services that's coming over an uh, LTE signal.